Poops plays. The division. person in the whole world poops um, I wanted to make this video for all of you uh, freshly 30s out there who are just itching to get into the dark zone because it's so much goddamn fun um, before you do is just a, just a couple things uh, first of all you'll notice my characters wearing mostly white and gray um, that's just so I'll blend in better uh, other players won't notice me uh, when you're alone, you don't really want to engage other players, uh, especially when you're freshly 30. You don't, you're not really geared up to face other people. Um, another thing you want to do is make sure you max out all your wings uh, to 100%. It's not a lot of fun, it's not exciting, but it's going to benefit you in a lot of ways. Um, shouldn't take too much time. The third thing you want to do is go ahead and do that Russian consulate mission on hard. Do it a couple times until all your gear is level 30. That's going to help you out a ton, uh, especially in the dark zone. Uh, uh, the fourth thing you want to do is uh, either go to that advanced gear vendor in the back right of the base and get the pack on that's an LMG and max out the stability on that. Or if you have the Phoenix credits for it, go upstairs and immediately to the left to the, the Phoenix credits vendor and get that vector blueprint and craft yourself a vector. Uh, those are both good beginner weapons. And other than that, you're probably, uh, especially if you're solo, you're going to want a sniper. Just any level 30 sniper you're comfortable with It's going to be good for beginners. And uh, once you have that stuff, you're pretty much ready to hop in. So uh, let's do it, bad boys and bad girls. Let's let's get in there, man. Let's do it. Are we doing it? Okay. Here's what I got. What I recommend for abilities. I got the support station, of course. Some people like the heal pulse. I like the support station because it picks you back up if you got the life support mod just automatically. And I got the turret. Of course, the shock turret that zaps people and stops them in their tracks. And for the talents, um, I recommend the fear tactics with that because it uh, is, has a chance of shocking everyone else when it shocks somebody. And uh, I also got Repo Reaper. Which, if you kill somebody with a pistol, gives you 30 bullets uh, for your primary. And also, I recommend, uh, it's not in a video, but I recommend tech support. Which, if you kill somebody with a perk out, or ability out, it extends the duration. That's good. Your first street checkpoint. Uh, it's probably the easiest checkpoint to come into. And we're gonna, it's, it's right, we're gonna fast travel to that subway morgue, bad boys and girls. And we're going to walk over here, and we're going to extract at this lower left extraction point. It's the easiest one for all you solo ladies and gentlemen out there. And you probably got your game set to English. That's fine. I got mine set to Portuguese. It's, it's funny to me. Not that I mock other cultures, but it's just, I don't know, it's just something silly that I do. And we're going to go down to this subway. And we're gonna look for our man Hardaway. Sometimes it's Claxton down here, and you 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 want to fuck with that guy. And sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's our boy O'Rourke. And you just got we're going. I'm gonna you just watch out for those guys. So uh, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna skip all this stuff. Okay. Way. Uh, and we're gonna tuck him in and uh, borrow some of his stuff and he's he's one of the easiest bosses to take probably the easiest boss to take solo as long as you know how to disengage this see all I'm doing here is you're gonna take a couple shots at him and say bye bye 
And you want to get those tanks on the side of him. That's going to that's gonna blow his ass to, to fuck and take him up the butt. And you notice here I'm using incendiary bullets. Who uses incendiary bullets? I do, and I fucked up my turret there, but that's okay. Um, you want to use that turret, though, because that's got a very high threat rating, which means enemies are going to completely forget that you exist, and they're going to be like, I'm going to get that turret, boy. And they're going to go right after that turret. And that's a shock turret. Oh, shit, look at that grenade. That's a shock turret, too, so that's going to fuck them up. They're going to be sitting there for a couple seconds like a fucking idiot. And you can just unload in their face or their balls, wherever you want to shoot them, really. It's up to you. I, I, you know, it depends on what kind of day I'm having. But I'm just going to fuck him up, and I'm going to borrow his stuff. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I throw grenades. You know, it just depends on what kind of day I'm having. So we're going to skip the rest of this, because you already know what happens. You know what's going to happen. Okay, so the other, the other main place I like to go solo is the library up here. And there's a safe house right next to it, which is really nice. And if you ever see uh, over here, this Calcast Sports Store. Don't ever go there. I don't even go there with the four-man team. I hate that fucking place. Fuck that place. Here's that library safe house. And you see, the first thing I do, I'm going to climb with that fucking rope. Because there's guys, there's dudes right there. And here's a little trick for you. I'm going to switch my sniper rifle to my primary uh, because that way, see I'm sniping this whole time and I can get uh, I can get sniper rifle ammo from Repo Reaper. So don't go around telling people that I never helped you with anything. I'm sick of you bad, bad mathing me to people. That's, 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 that's just a free tip for you. Switch your sniper rifle to your primary. So you can just switch. Um, they'll, uh, they'll, when they get closer, they'll throw grenades, but they can't get them all the way up in there. And you can throw your turret down there to fuck with them. You can put your support station up here to help you. And it's pretty easy to lower dudes over here. And if you want to go down there and fuck with them some more, just make sure you have at least two bars of health before you try to climb that rope again. And uh, you should probably be fine. Just you know, just play safe, man. This was. That's what life is all about. That's what I always say whenever I do something. And something you'll also notice is that I'm not using my scope to shoot. I only use my scope to look around because something that's really useful is that reticle will turn red when it's over an enemy. So if it's foggy or snowy or if you're just not sure if you have the shot or not, it'll turn red and it's, it turns a slightly darker red. It's, it might be hard for you to see depending on how good your eyes are. It turns a slightly darker red if it's over somebody's uh, head. And uh, you know, you switch your pistol to finish them off. Pistols do uh, twice as much damage if a target is below 30% uh, health. And uh, you see this guy over here. Fuck that guy. Uh, it's, for the turret, it, if at all possible, you want you don't 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 want to throw it on the floor. You want to get it up on top of something. It's easy, it's harder for enemies to kick it that way. They're gonna have to climb up on top of something. It makes them more vulnerable. That's a little turret tip from your buddy. Turret tips all day. So that's that's pretty much the guide. Come up here, fuck with dudes, go around the corner, fight the library. Uh, when you see when you see the library and they're not aggro to you yet. You want to sneak up there, uh, seek out the boss, try to get a try to tag him with a couple shots first. That way, if another group rolls through and kills him, you'll get credit for the kill. Um, go back, fight hard away when you're ready to extract. Go ahead and do that. Um, the extraction next to the abandoned gas station's probably fine. Um, that's a that's a prime target for rogues though, so just watch out. I like the one in the lower left corner of the map. That's the best one for solo, I think. Uh, stay away from rooftop extraction. That one's tricky. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Have a good time, and when you're ready for the more advanced stuff, come back to you, buddy. I'll have some for you. You you know I'll I'll never let you down. Um, let's get married. That, uh, that is the end of the video. Bye!